Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I upload a new video every single Sunday, and whenever I have time, I like to throw in an extra or two during the week. So now is a great time to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, to stay on top of all of my new videos. The first video I ever created here in my apartment was a tea collection video. And then about a year after that, I did an updated one. And it's been two years since my updated second tea collection video. So I figure now is a great time to do my third updated tea collection video. This might be the biggest one yet because I have no self-control and keep buying tea and just have way too much to ever drink through. So as of right now, with everything going on in the world, all of our favorite tea stores are online only, so there's no like physical shops open. So I'm really doing my best while we are all safe at home in quarantine, I'm trying to drink through my teas. So I'm not currently buying anything new. My slip up and decide there's something I can't live without. But for now, I haven't been buying anything new. So this is just all tea that I've been accumulating and I just thought it would be cool to show you guys because I know you guys enjoy seeing my collection. So let's get started. Okay, so I'll start with like kind of the smallest things first and then work up to the tins. So first I have this little like Disney cup with different teas in it. So I have this one, it's the Skinny, and I'm pretty sure I had this when I moved into the apartment. So I've had this one for quite a while, but it is still sealed. And I love this tea. It's um, a blend of oolong and pour with ginger, orange peel, elothero root, and natural flavoring. So it's kind of like a detoxy, like health kind of tea, but I really like the taste because it has ginger in it. And also like, Something about it, like the pour, like, like that earthy dark flavor tastes really nice in this. So I have a couple little samples from Plum Deluxe. I have the Queen's Blend Green Tea, which is kind of like a green Earl Grey, and Mindful Morning Black Tea, which again is similar to an Earl Grey. Yeah. And since I'm not a huge fan of Earl Grey, like I just haven't drank these yet, I'm kind of like waiting, maybe when all this is over, I'll have a friend come over who does like Earl Grey and they'll drink these, who knows. <laughs> then I have this sample of David's Tea's Caribbean Crush that I got for free. I placed an order online. Then I have these three little bags of these traditional medicinal organic throat coat teas. My biggest pet peeve ever is getting laryngitis. Um, I love to sing. And part of the reason that I don't perform anymore is that I get such anxiety about getting laryngitis. It seems like before every event, I always like get sick. A couple times I did um, get laryngitis and wasn't able to perform. So it's good to have this, even though like once you get laryngitis, nothing's bringing your voice back, but it has licorice root. Slippery elm bark, organic marshmallow root, all things that feel really good on your throat. At my bridal shower, my friend Carrie did this really sweet thing where she got me like teas to open at like different events like in our marriage. So this one we just actually missed. I completely forgot, but this one is to open on your first anniversary. We just celebrated our first anniversary, so we're gonna have to crack this open tonight. This is Tazo Passion. It has hibiscus, orange peel, rose hips, and passion fruit flowers. I'm looking forward to trying this one. Yeah, she wrote like these cute little poems. Like, it's just adorable. So I really loved that. Um, this one, I don't think we're gonna be opening for a while, but this one is organic mother's milk for healthy lactation from traditional medicinals. And this one is to open on our first baby. <laughs> and honestly, we're not trying for that quite yet. So it'll be a while before we crack into that one. We have a lot of things we still would like to do before we become parents. So <laughs> that one we're going to put off a little bit, but it's really cute. It's something to kind of like look forward to. This is a collection I haven't opened yet. It's by a brand called Happy Elephant. 
by Greek Gourmet, like GreekGourmet.com, and it's like this gift set. Um, one of my cousins, like, whenever she gets my mom things for Christmas, it's always like things that I would like and not things that my mom likes because she, she doesn't drink a lot of tea and she's not into scented things and it's always like candles, tea, bath salts. So my mom always just like gives them to me so it works really well in my favor. Um, but this is like a collection of all different teas in this really cute little box. I haven't opened it yet, but there's blueberry black tea, peach black tea, honey lemon ginger green tea, which is like right up my alley, strawberry black tea, raspberry black tea, and pineapple and coconut green tea. But I don't really know this brand. I don't know much about it. I don't even know if it's like, oh yeah, it's in tea bags. And each flavor has eight tea bags. So that's a lot. I just filmed my last video for my basics of tea series and it was all about infusions. So a lot of these I like just went through. These three I already, I talked about in that video, but this was like a Christmas set I bought one year because I really wanted to try Fireside Mocha and like the other flavors were ones that I tried already, but it was like this kit was the only way to get it without going online. And it was pretty good. Um, I have a review up. It's, I think, from the year before last. I, I don't really remember. I know it wasn't this past Christmas, but it has a coffee in it and, like, little Christmas tree sprinkles, chocolate chips. It's one of those, like, coffee tea hybrids. And then also there's caramel shortbread, apple cider, and sleigh ride. And they're, like, these cute little stackable tins. This one is a Valentine's Day tea from David's Tea. I love the heart-shaped tin. I think it is so cute. And it's called Sweet Tart. And it's like a tart cherry, like candy sort of flavor. And it has little pink heart sprinkles in it. So that is adorable. It wasn't my favorite because I don't love hibiscus but I think it might be really good as an iced tea. These little guys were also from like little sets like that, but this is all that's left of them. This one is chocolate covered almond. And it was like this um, set that was like sweets themed. So they all had like little donuts on top. And this was a Christmas tea the first time I tried it. So every time I smell it or drink it, it just reminds me of Christmas. So Ooh. It has black tea and yerba mate. I actually didn't realize that, so maybe I will drink some of that when I need like a good boost of energy since it does have both. And okay, so these tins, this was another set and they're just such good quality compared to these. Like if you press on the top, nothing happens, but with these it like does that and they just, they feel different and this one is magnetic, but this one is not. So like if you go like that, it's like, magnetic whereas if I take like these two they're like they're not magnetic. I don't want to be like rude or anything but I do feel in my heart that David's Tea's quality has changed a lot over the past couple years. Um, obviously I'm hoping that they're able to pull through this difficult time and come back like better than ever but I feel like things had been declining for quite a while so you know I'm, I'm hoping for the best but like that's a good like visual example of the difference in quality in my opinion. But this one is mocha orange biscotti. It has coffee beans, black tea, and carob, chicory root, orange peel. This one's another one of those coffee tea hybrids and I, I really did enjoy this one. It did taste like a biscotti. I think I've shown these in all of my tea collection videos. They are these malt shop collection teas, vanilla swirl and strawberry shake. And I only bought this set because it was cute. I drank through enough of the, the third tea, which was mint chocolate chip. I drank through enough of it to like combine it with another tin I had of it, which I bought too much because I still have it. But I barely have touched these. Vanilla Swirl is really good. Um, it definitely has more of a lemongrass taste than a vanilla taste though. And Strawberry Shake is a green tea, but it kind of tastes like strawberry yogurt. I think it even has yogurt. Yeah, it has yogurt bits in it. So I'm not even sure if this is still good technically. But again, I only bought them because the tins are cute, which is just not smart. You shouldn't buy things just because the packaging is cute. You should buy tea because you like to drink the tea. 
that is a lesson I've learned over the last couple years. This is Nepal Black. It's a really nice like honey like smooth black tea in this like weird cardboard container. It was on sale. Originally it was $12, but I got it on sale for $3.60 and I needed a really like beautiful black tea to take some photos of when I was working on my ebook. So this did the trick for that and it tastes amazing. It has like a honey note. There was a woman who would come into David's Tea when I worked there and buy like pounds of this at a time. Like literally like the kilo bags. I don't know what she did with it all. I guess she just really loved it. But I always think of her whenever I... Uh, I still think of the customers. I haven't worked at David's Tea in like three, almost three years. I think in September it'll be three years, but I still think of the customers. <laughs> and my last like little tin, I have this Japanese Sencha straight from Japan. My husband's stepmom gave me this. One of her coworkers goes back and forth to Japan, not now, but did. And um, she thought of me and gave me this amazing green tea that I feel like I'm like hoarding it because it's too special to drink through. <laughs> All right, let's move on to bags. I've been trying to finish off any of my teas that are in bags because they don't look as good. I want all my tea and tins. I want everything to look pretty. So while we are self-isolating, I've been drinking through like the teas that are in bags like first. Like that's like my priority. Like those take precedent over the other teas so that I can drink through them and get rid of them. Or like if I drink through a tea in a tin, I pour one in a tin, you know. <laughs> but this is deep purple. It's a Halloween tea from David's Tea. It has um, Kenyan purple tea, and it's just very astringent. Um, I did drink some recently, and I liked it more than I did when I tried it in the video, probably because I didn't steep it as long. So I think the key to this is a nice light steep, but I have like this much left. I only bought an ounce to begin with, so I should be able to get through this one pretty soon. Rainbow Lemonade is pretty much the same as Rainbow Sherbert from David's Tea. So I just felt bamboozled when I bought this. So I just had a bad connotation from the beginning, but I can finish this off as an iced tea. Again, I only bought one ounce, um, but I don't drink a whole lot of iced tea. So that's why I haven't finished this one off. It's a really pretty blend. It has like all different colors, but again, it's like one ingredient different from being a tea that David's Tea had already. So I just didn't, I didn't like that. Forever Frosty it was like a Christmas version of Forever Nuts. It has like pink and white marshmallows, orange peel, and candied uh, almonds. So it has all of the things that David's Tea's Forever Nuts has, which is like the best selling tea company wide but then it has like special Christmas twist ingredients. So these are the little almonds. They're like coated in sugar. I still like the original better, but I thought this was a cool thing to do for Christmas. And it really smells like Christmas and like tastes like Christmas. This is one of my favorites. It's David's Tea's Tea Kuan Yin, which is just a straight oolong tea. So it's hand produced on, on a small family garden near the mountains of Taiwan. This beautiful flowery tea has a long history. I love straight oolongs and there are so many different kinds. I feel like I still have like so much to explore just with like straight oolong teas. But that one is delicious. This is another one that my friend Carrie sent me. It is Harney and Sons and it is wedding tea. It's a white tea with rosebuds. So this was a tea that we drank after our wedding night on our honeymoon. This was another gift. It was from one of my mom's friends. Um, and it, it was like in this cute basket with a bunch of like treats and stuff. And it's Fortnum and Mason's. It's like in this cute little box. Um, I think the tea came in a different box and I transferred it into here, but it's just a really nice black tea. It's wedding breakfast tea. I don't know a lot about Fortnum and Mason's, but um, we're watching the TV show, The Crown on Netflix. And I keep seeing them like all throughout that. So it looks like they're, yeah, oh my gosh, they were established 1707. So they've been around a really long time in Britain. So it was really cool that my mom's friend ordered that for us. It was really special. Speaking of Britain, my friend Lisa, all the way from the UK, sent me, um, this isn't the original one she sent us because we repurchased, but this is Taylor's of Harrogate Assorted Specialty Teas. It has a lot of nice, 
like really awesome like basic British teas. There's a Psalm, there's a decaffeinated breakfast tea, green tea with jasmine, English breakfast, lemon and orange. And then there was chamomile, peppermint, oh, and Earl Grey, I think I just put in a different container. But um, we always finish off the peppermint and the chamomile so fast. And this is um, by appointment to HRH, the Prince of Wales, supplier of beverages. This is the official like tea of the Prince of Wales. I think my favorite thing about like British royalty, one of my favorite facts is like, it seems like they all have like a brand of tea like I don't, I don't really see I don't know a lot but I think the official like tea of the queen is is it twinings but I just think that's really cool I wish I had like an official tea but I'm not uh, a British royal this is a really beautiful like sachet box that I got at world market it's like rose gold or like copper I guess and glass and I have a bunch of different teas in here. I do have a whole section of the Taylors of Harrogate. Um, I have some Earl Grey. I think, yeah, this is all Earl Grey, but then I have these two random Twinings flavors. I have Twinings Green Tea and two Twinings Earl Grey. I think I got these in Disney World. I think they were like in our room and I brought them home. I don't really know. But I really like how in Disney World they have like that whole Twinings like shop. Um, they even have like in Epcot in the UK pavilion like a tea tour type thing. And I've always wanted to do it but I've never had the chance so hopefully soon. I'm not sure where this one came from but it's Simple Truth Organic Ginger and Turmeric Herbal Tea. And then these our celestial seasonings. Um, my friend Carla gave me these. She thought I'd like them and I do. She's absolutely right. It's like maple ginger herbal tea and I always forget I have them because she gave them to me in like a little bag and then I put them in there so I, I just I never remember I have them but they smell so good um, and they taste so good. And this is honey lavender stress relief. Another one from my friend Carrie from my bridal shower. This was one to open on our first fight. Me and Gerald really don't fight a lot. Um, but I think our first fight was on our honeymoon, unfortunately, because I filmed a bunch of stuff and like he accidentally deleted it. I was like, I was really upset, but I didn't want to make him feel bad because I know it wasn't on purpose. So I think that was like our first fight, but we didn't like open these till we got home. Um, and I don't even think we opened them for after a fight. I think we just were like, oh, remember we had a fight? I guess we can open these. I don't know. Um, and then I have more Lady Marmalade. I feel like I have a lifetime supply of Lady Marmalade. It was a Mother's Day tea from David's Tea a bunch of years ago that I thought I would like drink a ton of because I wanted to have a bridesmaid brunch, which I did, but no one is going to drink this quantity of tea. So I, I, I was like going to serve it at that and like I did, but I still have a lot. Same with vanilla bergamot, same thing. It was a Mother's Day tea. And then I also have some raspberry meringue, which is a white tea. And that is all the tea bags in there. This is after dinner mint from David's Tea. This has been my nighttime go-to lately. It's really good. And I like to put like a little pinch of lavender in it, which this is just plain lavender. It's really awesome. It has apple chamomile fennel seeds peppermint licorice root black currants and natural flavorings and rose petals so for me this is like the perfect end of the night i'm going to bed cozy moment and i love it then i have this bag of peach matcha it was my mom's and she gave it to me recently and then i have this sealed bag of lady marmalade i just went crazy when this tea came out and i bought way too much of it um, so this is not even open. It's completely sealed. So I have a lot of tea. This isn't even like a quarter of it. Let's do some Plum Deluxe. I'm an ambassador for Plum Deluxe. Um, so whenever you guys buy Plum Deluxe teas through my link, I get a little bit of commission that I use to buy more tea and then the cycle continues. I show you guys more tea and just goes on from there. Um, so I have, this one is peaches and cream oolong. It's not my favorite oolong. It's like, it's pretty oxidized, so it tastes, or you know what? 
that makes sense. Black tea is the first ingredient, so there is black tea in this, because I was going to say, it tastes like black tea more than oolong to me, and I guess that would be why, but I do like the peaches and cream aspect of it, but I wish it tasted more like an oolong. These were really good. Vanilla Rose Dark Tea Hearts. They're like these heart-shaped cakes of dark tea, so it's like pour. And yeah, they're vanilla and rose, and you just pop one little heart into your infuser. You don't need to measure it or anything. And they're just really like whimsical and cute, I think. Garden Grove green tea. This was Plum Deluxe's very first green tea, and it has jasmine flowers, rose petals, dried cherries. So this one is kind of Valentine's Day-esque as well. Abundance Blend Green Tea. This one has Sencha Green Tea, Elderflowers, Calendula, Passion Fruit Extract, and of course, all Plum Deluxe teas have love and gratitude in them. And here's how it looks. And then I think this is my favorite of Plum Deluxe um, that I have right now. There are a whole bunch that I had that I finished that were really, really good. But this is Citrus Mint Green Tea, and it just has really nice, simple, clean ingredients in a base of Chinese green tea. Okay, let's get into Tea by Daniel, who are awesome. Tea by Daniel is a company that's run by a husband and wife. Their names are Daniel and Renata, and they live in Canada. So I'll leave their their website link down below if you want to shop online because they have a lot of really, really good stuff. And I didn't even realize there are some teas that I haven't tried yet that I have. Limelight, which is a green tea. I can't believe I've never tried this. It's a green tea with lime pieces and natural lime flavoring. That sounds really good. And what a melon is an oolong tea that I haven't tried yet either. So I'm gonna have to try these like today because <laughs> they sound really, really good. This one is unopened as well, but it's for a reason. Um, Renata sent me this when I was getting married and I received it like right when I came back from my honeymoon. I was so moved. It's a special edition of their tea when Harry met Megan, but this is when Gerald met Dana. And this is like, it's like one of the sweetest things ever that I've ever received, like the sweetest gift. And she like did some research about like mine and Gerald's um, relationship. The tea description is like about us. It says, Disney World, Dunkin' Donuts, bands and basement shows. What do they all have in common? These are all special ingredients that make Dana and Gerald's magical love story. On April 7th, 2019 these two lovebirds will turn the page to a new chapter in their lives and it is our pleasure to present you this special edition of when harry met megan made with your special day in mind continued love health and happiness i thought that was the sweetest thing she went and found all of that out like it was just it was so sweet and that tea is awesome too i actually i have that the when harry met megan it's a black tea and it's um it has chocolate pieces and dried strawberries so it's like a chocolate covered strawberry in a tea form kind of vibe really really good also from plum deluxe i have almond cookie crumble which is like a black tea with just like a little extra something special with some almond flavor glitter and golden milk is a matcha turmeric and ginger latte mix mama bear magic is a green tea with ginger, coriander, cinnamon, turmeric, pepper, cloves, and natural lime flavoring. This one I feel like I could probably drink on a daily basis because it has all the things I love. And ginger peach snow cone, a white tea. White monkey Chinese tea, sunflower blossoms, and natural flavoring. And it has a really nice light ginger peach flavor in a white tea base. These two are both herbal ones. This is Orange Creamsicle and Night in Rio. Night in Rio is inspired by the colors of a parrot, which is really, really cool. And it's really nice and fruity. I have two bags from Adagio. One I haven't opened yet, but this is Spiced Apple Chai. 
I was on a major chai kick this fall, so I bought like a million different chais to try and to review on the channel. So if you like chai, I have like a million chai videos, I feel like. And this was my first favorite tea ever, and it's from Adagio. It's Cocoa Mint Green, and it's just a green tea with cocoa nibs, natural chocolate and mint flavor, and peppermint leaves. And I've been kind of saving it for like a special occasion or like when I run out of my other favorites, I'll open this one up. I've been like um, kind of rationing it, <laughs> I guess. This is still one of my favorite tins. It's pink and it has like stars and like circles on it, like confetti, and it's so pretty. And I always keep like one of my favorite teas in here. And right now it has David's Teas Cashmere Chai, which is like a green tea based chai that I love. This is currently my only Tinzilla and I just made like a big pitcher of iced tea with it. It's um, David's Tea's Fruity Oasis, which is a rooibos and it's very hibiscus-y. And I just, I haven't been into it so I, I, ha I can't really decide what I'm gonna do with this huge quantity that I have since I didn't really like it in the iced tea pitcher, so. Not sure if I can give that to a friend. Once this like social distancing has lifted, I guess we'll see. This is David's Teas Buku Super Fruit. Super good, nice and detoxing. Whenever I have the chance to stock up on this one, I do because it just helps me like, if I've eaten like too much sodium, I always feel better after I drink this. I have only the teeniest bit left of David's Tea's Forever Nuts, which is like a pink cinnamon roll in a cup. It's like almonds, beetroot, cinnamon. It's David's Tea's best-selling tea, and I definitely need to get some more because it's really good. And this one, I'm really upset that I'm running low on. This is my favorite tea of all time that I've ever had. It's ginger turmeric tonic from David's Tea, and it's like, again, matcha. Like, it, it's a green tea with popped rice as the base, but then it has ginger and turmeric, and it's just, like, incredibly flavorful. I've been drinking it every morning. I bought, like, something crazy, like, two pounds of it um, in one of my haul videos I did, and, yeah, I'm almost out of it. I can't believe it. I'm sad about it. I don't know what I'll do when I run out. I'll probably try to like recreate it with just ingredients. So this tin has a tea from Adagio in it, even though it's like a David's tea tin. This is mocha nut mate. So it's a mate tea in a tea bag. And it reminds me kind of of Starbucks toffee nut syrup. It's really, really good. And this tin is cute. It's like uh, tropical leaves. And this one is Adagio's Masala Chai. I put it in this like purpley tin. And this is just a good like basic run of the mill chai. Lots of cloves, ginger, black tea base. This one, however, is an interesting chai. This is David's Tea's S'mores Chai. Oh, I don't drink this one like far as much as I should but it's a pour tea, so it's like nice and dark and earthy, but then there's like marshmallows, brittle pieces, chocolate chips. It's really, really good as a latte or an iced latte especially. But originally I bought like this size, like the Tenzilla size, but then it got small enough to fit in here. David's Tea's pumpkin chai I have in this spooky Halloween tin. I feel like I have like a never ending supply of this. I used to have a Tinzilla as well that I refilled a bunch of times, but now I have drank through it enough to fit it in the Halloween tin where it belongs, pumpkin chai. It's different for a chai though. It has like caramel. It doesn't have like cloves and things. Like I think it's like just black tea, cinnamon, caramel bits, and the pumpkin sprinkles. It's really, really good though. I love pumpkin chai. This is one of the first teas I bought. It is um, Nutty Granola Crunch. It's a rooibos tea. It tastes like peanuts, even though there are no peanuts in it. A lot of people didn't like it, but I do, so I've been drinking it very, very slowly um, as not to run out, but love it. And I love the little bear. <laughs> He's so cute. This one is Another one that was discontinued, but one of my favorites from David's Tea, Nutty by Nature. I love nutty teas. And this one is a mate with monk fruit, apricot, and almond bits. 
really, really nice. And I had a lot of this. I used to have a Tenzilla of this one as well, but again, I drank through it enough to fit in here. This is Frosted Cereal. This one was part of David's Tea's Ice Latte collection, and it tastes like cereal milk when you make it as an ice latte. It's really unique. It has marshmallows in it too, so it's like a Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes sort of vibe. It's really, really unique for a tea. This is Horchacha which is a green tea meant to taste like horchata. And I have it in this pretty gold tin. It has cinnamon, I think coconut, I'm not really sure. But I don't reach for this one as often um, because it kind of has like a weird acidic thing to me. The first time I tried it, I loved it and I repurchased. And when I bought it again, I was like, I don't think this is the same. I'm like, something's not right with this. So I returned it bought it again and it still has that weird taste to me so I don't drink this one that much um, but when I do I like to steep it for only like two minutes just to get like super light steep because I, I don't know if I'm over steeping it or what but um, I do like the concept though because I, I love horchata and in this one I have turmeric glow it's an herbal tea with turmeric sweet blackberry leaves and pineapple this is alpine punch a rooibos with rose blossoms, coconut, pepper. It kind of has like almost a marzipan vibe. It reminds me of Princess Belle as a tea. It's really, really good. I've had this for a really long time though. I really need to start reaching for this one more often. This is a white tea. I think it's just Bai Hao Yin Zen. It's just like a silver needle white tea that I bought pretty recently and just transferred into this tin. So just a beautiful, silver needle white tea. Next we've got David's Tea's Carrot Cupcake. This is another one that I had in a Tinzilla and I was able to fit it in here. One of my favorite lattes of all time. It really tastes like carrot cake, but it has like a whipped cream flavoring in it, so it's really nice and sweet. Plus it has licorice root. Oh, it's so, so good. This is Sunny Sea. I was drinking this earlier today. It's sort of like David's Tea's version of emergency. And since we are all trying to keep our immune health as good as it can be, this is one that I have been sipping on lately for that. This one in this mandala tin is David's Tea's Lime Gelato. It's a green tea and it has like a creamy aspect to it. This sheep tin I did not love when I bought it, um, but I really wanted this tea, so I just display it like that so it looks like a plain tin, because I don't know. I don't know. I'm not feeling the sheep. I never was. <laughs> but this is um, citron oolong. It has jasmine blossoms and citron oil. It was being discontinued, so I wanted to stock up, so I did. This one is another one of my husband's. It's called the Big Chill. It's from David's Tea and it is an herbal tea with valerian root, so it's nice and relaxing. And then, ooh, I love this one. This was one of my favorite teas I tried this year, Maple Chai from David's Tea. Mm, I repurchased this. I bought it once and then it was like so good that I bought it again. It is so like, it's like a special chai. It's like a Christmas chai. So I restocked this one and and I know I have way too much chai in my collection right now, but I think if I had to pick just one to keep, like one black chai traditional, you know, I think this would probably be it. And then glitter and gold. This one has gold stars in it, so it is so pretty. And it has clove and lemon peel in a black tea base. This is probably one of my personal favorite black teas. Okay, let's move on to the ones from this shelf, all of my cute pink tins. So this one is like an ugly sweater pattern, or not ugly sweater, that's like what they called it when I worked there. I'm like, this is a cute sweater. I would wear a sweater with this print, <laughs> but um, this one has something in it that's not from David's Tea. This is from a tea shop in Lake Geneva. It's like a green chai with roses in it, like with full pieces of rose. It's just called green chai and it's a uh, Lake Geneva Spice Company. I think you could even buy their teas online. So I'll take a look and see if I can link that. But 
It's um, Me Green Tea, Roses, Almond, Cinnamon, Cloves, Cinnamon, and Cloves Essence. And this one is really nice and special. I really like a green chai. This one is that like malt shop print. Um, and it's David's Tea's Mint Chip Sunday. it was called. And honestly, when I, when I like first saw this, like when I worked there, I was hoping it would be like that one from Adagio, the Coco Mint Green, but this one is like a little too strong in flavor. Like it just has too much mint and like too much chocolate. It's like too decadent and desserty. It's not really like an everyday tea for me. This is Maple Syrup Oolong. I think I named this as my favorite new tea of 2018, <laughs> um, but it's it's really good. It kind of tastes like caramel corn more than maple, but it's an oolong, so it's nice and buttery. Really, really good. And then I have this magnolia oolong. Oh, I always forget I have this. But it's scented with magnolia and jasmine, so it's just like a straight... Um, oolong but with those really beautiful floral notes and then this one is rose oolong but this one actually has like full rose petals in it so it's an oolong with that rose flavor as well so two of my favorite things i love this tea this was new for valentine's day this year at david's tea another one that was new for valentine's day this year was chocolate covered strawberry. I don't have a whole lot of it. It's a mate tea and it definitely tastes just like a chocolate covered strawberry, but it doesn't have as much of the mate leaves as I would have liked. That's my like big issue with this one, but um, I thought the tin was really cool and kind of like trippy looking. It reminds me of like the Cheshire cat. <laughs> and last on that shelf, this one's really old. So I don't even, like it still smells good, but honestly, I don't know if, if I'm even gonna drink this because I've had it for so long. It is raspberry cream pie. This is my husband's favorite tea. And I mean, it looks fine. Like they say that tea never like goes bad. It'll just start to lose flavor, but it still smells pretty flavorful. So maybe I'll give it a try, see how I feel. And then if I'm okay, I know it's like safe to make for him, but um, I had a tinzilla of this one as well, the large tin, and I was able to condense it down into this. Okay, now this is my favorite shelf aesthetically, my rainbow shelf that usually goes right here. Let's start with the white color. I don't coordinate them technically to like what kind of tea they are for the most part because David's tea has like a different color for each tea type, but I just kind of put in like whatever I feel like and some of them match up, some don't. So the, the white tins are not white teas, um, but I have blueberry shake, a rooibos, also from that Ice latte collection that the cereal tea is in and just I just have a little bit left This one's pretty good. It kind of tastes like a blueberry cereal, too It was sort of like breakfasty that uh, collection. I really liked it and this one is powerberry. It's a mate This one is really cool and unique. It has garcinia, which I think is like a ingredient. That's really nice for weight loss but I just like the way it tastes. Like I usually don't like a lot of berry teas, but this one has like different kind of berries, like elderberry, juniper berries, and then raspberry and blueberry flavoring. So it's not so like berry-like. It's a little more herby, I guess, and I really enjoy it. All right, and then we have ginger crystals. This one I'm pretty much out of. I have one little scoop left, barely even enough for a whole cup of tea. But I'm thinking like if I can, I might buy more of this because it's like it's three different kinds of ginger in one. Ginger, crystallized ginger, lemongrass, and honey ginger crystals. So I'm thinking if I mix this with again matcha, I might be able to get something close to my ginger turmeric tonic once I run out. So I might be stocking up on more of this if they still have it. And then this one is Coco Colada. It is literally like a pina colada in tea form, but it just has like pineapple, coconut, mango, apple, hibiscus. So I like making pictures of this in the fridge to have on hand. And I think I have enough to make like one more picture. So I'm gonna be finishing off this guy soon. Then I have Wayusa, which is like the cousin of the mate. This label is so faded. I wish I could just 
order a new label. If the store reopens, I can probably go into the store and ask, ask if they could just print me a new sticker for this. But um, it's like the cousin of the Mate and it really helps me feel alert. And it has like kind of a sweet, like earthiness, like a sweet kind of grassy sort of thing. I love this tea, it's probably one of my favorites. And then this one is from Adagio, again, but in a David's Tea tin. And this is Spiced Mate. It's a toasted mate with cinnamon bark, natural spice flavor, orange peels, and ginger root. And then I have Mudslide, which I'm not really sure why I bought so much. It's like a coffee tea hybrid. It's a rooibos tea, um, but it has carob, coffee beans, chocolate chips, natural flavoring, I don't drink this a lot. It's good as an iced latte, but I'm not sure I would ever drink it as a hot tea. So I, I have a lot of this to get through. Maybe I'll do like a pitcher of iced tea with this too and do like an iced coffee sort of thing. This one is called Peachy Clean and it's a pour. And it's like a white pour though, so it was different than I was expecting. And I did really like it. And I put it in this tin because it's like a peach colored tin. And I have only a little bit left, but I did really like this one. When I saw that it was a pour with peach, I thought that was weird because pour is like such a dark, heavy flavor and peach is so like light and crisp that I was like, how's that going to be? But the fact that it's like a white pour, it's like a lot lighter and nicer with that peach flavor. And then I have this one, Sip of Sage. I've been really liking this one. It's a green tea with spearmint, sage, and a bunch of other really nice ingredients. And it's super refreshing and uplifting. I love that like spearmint vibe in it. The sage is not very pronounced because there's spearmint as well but I really like that. My mom bought me this matcha. Matcha is so expensive, but I was out with my mom one day and she like insisted on getting me something and like I didn't need clothes, I don't need anything else. So she got me matcha and quite a bit of it. Like look at that. My goal is to be drinking this every day. I used to drink matcha every day when I worked at David's Tea. First thing when I get to work, I would do a quick shot of matcha and I really think it helped me on my weight loss journey. So since I'm trying to get back into that journey, trying to get that motivation back, I should go back to matcha every day, especially because I have it, might as well. This is another one of my very favorites. This is a milk oolong. Oh, it's so good. It has like a creamy milky flavor. It says this ultra rare oolong from the Wuyi Mountains of China is velvety smooth and lightly creamy with a subtle hint of orchid. And it's just a straight oolong tea. I always redeem my like frequent steeper points for this one because it is, it's expensive, but it's so good. And then I have David's Tea's Japanese Sencha. Not as good as my Japanese Sencha straight from Japan, but you really can't go wrong with a straight Japanese Sencha. It's like nice and grassy, smooth light and refreshing really really nice all right i have only two left magic potion um this one has butterfly pea flowers which are those like magical flowers that steep blue and turn purple when you add um lemon juice so i still have quite a bit of this i always imagined like inviting my friends over and like dazzling them by like showing them the magic of the color changing tea and I have yet to do that um, and looks like it won't be for a while that I'll have friends over again. So maybe I'll make like a pitcher of iced tea with this one since I do have so much left. All right, last but not least, Honey Lullaby. This one is chamomile, rose petals, cornflower petals, stevia extract, and natural and artificial honey flavoring. This is my favorite sleepy time tea ever and I'm so afraid to run out of it because it got discontinued very quick. It was limited edition at David's Tea. And I haven't ever been able to find anything similar. So I'm holding on to this one for dear life. All right guys, there you have it. My crazy tea collection. Seems like it's just always growing and it never stops and it never gets any smaller no matter how much tea I drink. So it's my goal to like really start drinking through this tea and not just like purchasing every new tea that comes out all the time. I gotta be more mindful. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my teas. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy at home and I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.